oh hi there i didn't see you come in so today we're going to be comparing the foresight gc quad and the unicor ixo launch monitors uh, two high-end launch monitors and we're going to see how they stack up against each other <laughs> that was so stupid <laughs> So today we're going to be examining the features of these two launch monitors indoors in one of our Carl's Place Pro Golf enclosures. So we're not going to say that one of these launch monitors is better than the other because it really all depends on how you're going to use it and the situation that you're going to put it in. So we're just going to give you the data and let you decide. So we're going to start off looking at the kind of physical differences between the launch monitors. Uh, first looking at the, the GC Quad. Uh, obvious thing is that it's smaller, it's going to be a lot more portable than the IXO will be. Um, besides that, uh, some of the nice things about it, it is it has a screen that will show you instant data feedback. You don't need to have any other devices there. You can just get your data right off of the launch monitor itself. So looking at the IXO, uh, some of the key points, um, it's a launch monitor that you hang from the ceiling. So it's going to be nice out of the way. Uh, you don't have to worry about people kicking it or anything like that. Uh, it's a really sturdy, solid built launch monitor. If you're doing a center hitting area, it will work perfectly for both right and left handed golfers without any adjustments. Uh, you just have to set it up, calibrate it, and you'll be good to go. Uh, now that being said, it is an indoor use only launch monitor. So if you're looking for something to take outside, then the GC Quad is probably going to work a lot better for you. So next, we're going to show you the experience of using these two launch monitors indoors with their included software. So today we are going to be covering the FSX 2020 software, which is included with the GC Quad. You will also receive FSX Play, which is basically a graphically enhanced uh, version of this software, but it focuses more on course play. So when you first open FSX 2020, you'll see three different options available. Uh, you have Play, which will give you access to different games. Um, there's one course that is included with the software, the rest are um, available for an additional cost. You also have uh, things that you can do like uh, foot golf, uh, random play, and then compete is also an option where you can go and play online against other players and then improve, which um, is what we're going to be focusing on today. Uh, we're going to be looking at the driving range compared to the driving range that comes by default with the IXO. So when you first open the driving range, this is what you see. Um, you have a map over here that you can use to change uh, where you're aiming. You can even aim behind you if you want. Um, you have all of your different settings are easily available right across the top. Uh, you can change the style of golf ball you're using, different camera views. Um, you can see where the hole is that you're aiming at. Um, and you can also adjust things like your elevation and wind right on this screen. So you can see uh, when you hit with the GC quad, the feedback was almost instantaneous. There's basically no lag from when you take your shot until when it appears on the screen. Uh, you can see it gives really good data showing your line of your shot, how far offline you were, carry distance, uh, total distance. Uh, it gives you a, a review of the, the shot and all the data. And then when you're ready for your next shot, you just bring your ball up and it will tell you right on the screen when your ball is in the proper place to, to take another shot. Almost exactly the same. <laughs> So then you can see it just, it tracks the ball while it's on the ground. So it shows you where in the hitting area your ball is. And then if you get it too far away, please move the ball back into the hitting zone. It can tell it's over here, but it's just too far away to register. So just looking at the graphics, you can see they're, they're pretty good. Um, they're not fantastic. There's not a lot of texture or anything like that to the grass. The trees look okay. You'll see when we uh, show you the Unicore software that the grass is a lot more detailed. I think the trees look a little more realistic. Um, but we think if you run FSX Play, that that's gonna kind of like bridge the gap between the two and offer some better uh, image quality on the screen. 
So one thing that the FSX program has that the uh, Unicore software does not is the ability to change your weather conditions. Uh, there's all sorts of different options here. You can change your time of day, um, how rainy it is, the firmness of the ground, the windiness, the direction that the wind's coming from, um, even the barometer, you can change the different altitude settings. Uh, so that's a really nice feature. It's super easy to make those changes right in, uh, in the driving range app. So a couple other features that uh, we're noticing on this app that you don't see in the Unicore one is if you are hovering over the map, you can right click anywhere on the map and you can change the placement of your golf ball. So you can hit from right up next to the green, you can hit from in the rough or just a normal tee shot. Uh, you can click around on here to adjust where you're aiming and you can even hit right behind you into the clubhouse. So let's see what happens if you do that. <laughs> Goes right through the clubhouse. Oh, there you can see, <laughs> you see it hit the building and bounced right back. <laughs> So one cool thing about uh, being able to move your ball placement around is you can you know, kind of practice short game a little better. You can you know, hit from you know, 60, 70 yards away. You can place it so you're 200 yards away or anything in between uh, to practice you know, kind of nailing down those, those short range shots. Might have overshot the green a little bit on that one. So looking at the, the data, besides the, the obvious numbers like flight of the golf ball and or carry and uh, total distance, that sort of thing, they both show launch angle. They will both show the side angle, whether you're pushing or pulling. The spin numbers, both will show backspin, side spin, uh, whether you're pulling or slicing. The quad will show um, like face to path. On the Unicore, uh, it's not showing up right now because I didn't have the club stickers on, but you can set it up with your club sticker to give, looks like a little more detailed feedback, um, smash factor, uh, club face angle, club path, face to path. Uh, just different club data that I'm not seeing on the on the Foresight app. All right, so that's gonna be 140, slightly left of target. Let's look at the carry, because that's what we, we always measure is the carry distance. So the carry distance from the Unicore is about 147. Carry distance on the uh, GC Quad is 146, so super close there. Um, both of them do show a little bit left of center. Uh, this shows uh, the angle was 4.5 degrees left. That shows about 6.4 degrees left, so a little difference there. Uh, backspin on the GC Quad was about 6,900. On the Unicore, it was about 7,200. Side spin, uh, both of them showed right side spin. Uh, 460 on the Unicore, 594 on the quad, 6.7 yards left, and that's 10.7 yards left. So, you know, within a couple of yards of each other, they're both uh, given pretty similar numbers. Oh, that's gonna be right 148. Carry 149, <laughs> just, what was it? I can't tell, was it just right of center? Just right, this, so the Unicor, 148 and a half for the carry distance. Carry distance from the uh, quad was 149, so both of those were pretty right on. The ball flight started off about 3.2 degrees left 
on the quad, about 1.4 degrees left on the Unicore. And then with the, the spin, it came back to just right of center. Um, 3.7 yards right and 6.9 yards right on the Unicore. So again, I mean, just quick, not gonna read through all the numbers, but just quick looking at them. Back spin was within a couple hundred of each other. Side spin within a little, about a hundred. Carry pretty much right on. So both of them are reading very close to each other. So you see right after you take your shot, um, you get some instant data feedback. You can see the ball flight. Uh, it's not gonna give you as much as you get with uh, how the FSX app like cycles through all the data, but you can still click through um, over here and see, see everything. It's really easy to use. Um, and then another nice feature is you can see uh, just the graphics on here, I think look a little bit better. The grass uh, has more texture, has more shading. The trees look more realistic. Uh, you can see the, the mountains, furry little animals scampering around the driving range, living their, their best lives until you hit them with a golf ball. And then yes, they will die if you hit it with a golf ball. There is a way on Refine or Refine Plus that you can set it up so there's like animals everywhere. And then you hit into them and the animals just tip right over. So after you hit your shot, um, you can see the data is provided down at the bottom. It doesn't automatically switch through all of the windows like you're gonna see with the FSX app, um, but it's easy enough just to click through um, all the data on, or to click through the tabs on the side to get you know, any data that you might want. So we just finished up testing uh, both the GC Quad and the Unicore IXO. And as you can see, the data between the two, it was pretty accurate. They were both pretty similar to each other. Uh, the ball flight, uh, carry distance, the uh, you know, spin rates, everything was maybe not 100% accurate, but very close. Um, so I guess if you're looking to buy a launch monitor, what it would come down to is how you're gonna be using it. For indoor use, uh, looking to improve your game uh, and have a setup just for dedicated use inside, I think uh, Unicore IXO is probably gonna be a great choice for you. If you're looking at doing both indoor and outdoor kind of dual use for a launch monitor, the GC Quad is gonna be an excellent option. So today we covered just the base software that comes with each of the launch monitors. They both perform very well, but one thing to keep in mind is that the IXO has the option to purchase either the Refine or the Refine Plus software, either of which, if you purchase those upgrades, would still get you in under the price of the GC Quad. The Refine and Refine Plus softwares for the Unicore uh, will give you some additional uh, game modes that you can play. Uh, it gives you a short game complex uh, and just different options for um, training, really, and improving your game. And then it also will come with uh, some golf courses. The Refine comes with uh, five golf courses and the Refine Plus will come with some additional ones as well to be able to play on. So where the IXO really excels is indoor training. It's gonna give you a lot of feedback that other launch monitors just won't, especially if you're looking at like the, the top down view camera. It's fantastic. It shows you a real life shot of your club actually impacting the ball. It shows you your swing path. And that's just not something that the GC Quad is able to offer. If you're looking for something with more versatility, uh, be able to use it at a driving range, then the GC Quad is gonna be an excellent choice. It's got the, the portability that the IXO just can't offer. So I hope this video helped you to decide what launch bonder might work out best for you. Uh, if there's another launch bonder you wanna see us review, just let us know in the comments below. And as always, like and subscribe for more content on building your own golf simulator setup.